boy and block boys do block things. I'm I'm a block boy and block boys do block things. I'm I'm a block boy and block boys do block things. Once 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 you in it, then you in it, and there's no stopping. I'm a block boy. Welcome back. Block Hi. boys, box talk, sports talk, <laughs> all of the above, back at the same great location. You know how we do it, it's your man's back, you know how we do it, man. It's Marco Polo, welcome to the live. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Shout out to everybody. Live, we live, baby. NFL has a lot going on as Tag Week has come upon us. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And guess what? What we do know is, uh, first things first, we're going to talk about the guy right at the highway. Uh, he goes by the name of Lamar Jackson. They went ahead and tagged Lamar. They put him on a non-exclusive tag. And for those that don't know, non-exclusive tag means he can bullshit. He can. <laughs> That's what it means. No, no, but he can talk to other teams. And they, he's guaranteed thirty-two million dollars. Man, so that shout out, it. shout out to man. Easy to block happening. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Look, man. They can. He can get thirty-two million this year. And he's able to go out and talk to other teams, and if they give, if they get an offer, it's up to uh, Baltimore Ravens to go ahead and match that offer. So hold on before we just let's see what happens because it's it's it's, it's, it's cat and mouse game. Let's see what's going on. I think they should have just went ahead and signed them and extended them, like Daniel Jones got up there with the uh, New York Giants. Uh, they also gave a tag to your man Saquon Barkley. Shout out to Saquon. And I'm also, still calling bullshit. And then uh, also out there in Dallas, Tony Pollard also got the tag as the running back. Guess who else got some money? Another another quarterback got money. He goes by the name of Dirk. I wish I could drive the car. And he got a hundred fifty million dollar deal. Hundred and sixty million guaranteed. <laughs> For the play down there with the Saints, so I'm sure the Saints are happy they now at least have a quarterback. The crybaby got his way. Crybaby car when? got wind his way all the way out to a good contract. Hey, man. But yet Lamar, they playing cat and mouse with Lamar. MVP. Explain that to me. Yeah. Break yeah, that yeah, down yeah, to yeah, me. But that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why we do the sport talk because uh we gonna talk about it because a lot of people do not want to talk about it. It's politically incorrect, whatever. Mm -hmm. Bullshit! Hey, man. Listen. Some people call it BS. Some people call it business. Hey, <laughs> let's see how it plays out. <laughs> see how it plays out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, man. I'm a Lamar Jackson fan. I know it's a couple of people in Washington, D.C. That's where we at. That would love for him to come down the highway. I personally don't want that to happen. <laughs> but hey, let's see how it works out, bro. Let's see how it works out. But, um, but shout out to Crybaby Car. He got him a good job. Uh, which leaves the Raiders. Mm. Looking for someone, and mm. we do know that Aaron mm. Rodgers is talking to the Jets. Right. Like Gino, not even there, mm -hmm. but he's talking to the Jets. Yeah. A lot of hopeful Raider fans would love for Aaron Rodgers to come down there and rejoin Devontae Adams out there in Vegas. That would be awesome, but right now Aaron Rodgers is currently talking to the Jets, and Gino Smith, by the way, got his good deal up there uh, just recently with the Seattle Seahawks. So, Gino Smith has got his bag out there. They gave him like 115 million or something like that. So, he's good out there. So, that's what's up with Gino. But, uh, Rob, that's what's going on with the NFL for the most part. You want to talk about the NBA, man? Because I, I know it's a fella who definitely wants to talk it's about a fella, it. It's a fella that, that plays for the Memphis Grizzlies, I think. What's his name? What does he go by? John Morant. Oh, um, man. Allen Iverson. Yeah. Should have, should, you know, you should have learned from Allen Iverson's mistakes. But some people don't look at the past to correct the future. Uh, they live in their best life in 2023. A lot of these How about, Gil How about Gilbert Arenas? Gil Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert like, Arenas mistakes. That's what the mistakes like, that, that's, If that was the ideal situation for you, look at Gilbert Arenas is one of the biggest stars we've known. And he just fell right off after yeah. showing someone. Playing around with the guns. You know what I mean? So what I want to say real quick is this. Uh, I would like to see John Morant, uh, you know, he came out with an apology. I'd like to see John Morant uh, get another opportunity after they figure out what they're going to do with the suspension. Currently, Colorado police are doing an investigation. The uh, NBA is doing an investigation. He is a complete bonehead. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm not going to color code and sugar code. He's a bonehead. He's he yeah. working with, with, with 200 plus million. And you flashing a gun for what? That, that's why they got security. That's why you hide security when you get on that type of level with that type of money. You plan, you're going to 
gambling it away for for shock value of a, of a pistol? Well, you, let me play the other side of the coin. That was that. I don't disagree with what you're saying because, honestly speaking, most of us out there don't get the opportunity to make two hundred million dollars at any given point in their lifetime. No. Nope. But this guy's young. Uh, there are things that come around, and, and you know, when you're young, that 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 you tend to have to show a little force, so on and so forth. I don't agree with it. As again, he made a mistake at this point showing a uh, pistol on uh, social media. Also, there's a, other, a lot of other incidents leading up to this. Uh, get into a, 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 a fight with a 17 year old. Uh, there was the with, uh, the, the uh, laser beam pointing at the bus of uh, a lot of allegations. A lot of allegations on a young, inexperienced. Uh, individual has star status, and, big star. And, and, uh, and he, he, he should be a role model for a lot of young, up and coming stars. Right, but right, yet, right. this paints a terrible picture on his soon to be legacy. We are hoping they don't push him all the way out the lead right. of some BS. Well, let's, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope T. Moran is father. Can bring it in. Um, a lot of fingers are being pointed at him, um, being too much more of a friend instead of being a father figure. I don't know the ins and outs of that. Let's hope that his father, that the people around him, he can maybe change a few people around him and understand and hopefully come to some of the older, uh, the, the older uh, NBA players that went through some of these same issues can put a bug in his head. And shout out together. to all the young players. My and advice, yeah. Block Boy is vice. Pick up some books. Read some books because it seems like the social media is, 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 is way more overpowering. It's not that many, it's a lot of books out there that don't lead to guns putting out and showing guns. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. Educate right. yourself right. Uh, to live a long, prosperous life. That part right there. Showing off for what? Yeah, showing off for what? Social media is not a good thing. Hey, man. Listen, moving right along. Moving right along to the, the New media. York Knicks. Are on fire. The New York Knicks are on fire. They're on their way to possibly a 10th victory tonight as we are right here and we live with y'all and we recording with y'all. Let me tell you, even without Brunson, yeah, without Brunson, who's been playing phenomenal, almost MVP level, uh, Randall has stepped this game up. Quigley, wow, mm. Quigley, what an amazing player he's become, a young up and coming. I mean, R.J. Barrett, their whole team is looking very good. Looking very awesome. Not only did we get one in uh, 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 Madison Square, uh, Boston. in Boston, we mm -hmm. come back and close the show in Madison Square as well yeah. against the, and I had them ranked number two out of the top five. The wow. Boston Celtics, like, we we beating up on the Boston Celtics like that. Hey, man, the Knicks, the Knicks are a problem, man. If y'all don't understand what's going on, man, y'all need to pay more attention, man. The Knicks are a true problem. Well, they're red hot currently, and I will tell you like this, the difference is the playoffs is a different animal, and one thing about that is a game of matchups and coaching. So let's see how they can prosper in the playoffs because they have they are, aren't that experienced outside of Brunson. So let's see how this kind of plays out. But right now, they are red hot. Just letting you know. Yes, sir. Uh, Moving right along. You know what else I want to talk about? Let me talk about because I've been telling y'all who I already know is going to be the MVP is my main man, Joker. And do y'all know Joker that this dude is like a triple-double machine right now? And they are 23 and 0, the Denver Nuggets are, when this guy gets a triple-double. So mm -hmm. for all those sports betters out there, keep that in mind. Whenever you see them play, the Denver Nuggets, they're hot. They're on a red-hot streak at home. I think they're like uh, 12 and 0 at home over the last two games or whatever. So look, Denver Nuggets are also a very hot team. And I got Joker going for my MVP. Let me say, speaking on that, uh, we definitely got to talk about the game Ooh, last night with the Joker, the Toronto Raptors. Man, listen. And the Denver Nuggets, I mean, Toronto had their foot on their neck the whole game. Mm -hmm. And some. And, and, the, and the six man award goes to, <laughs> to the referee, <laughs> Scott Foster. <laughs> Something has to be done. NBA, something has to be done. Some, if y'all do not know what went on, we still don't know what went on. Right. As in the mind of that referee, with 28 seconds left on the clock, mm. you get a quick double technical, throw pop, out pop. the game, Joker continues his reign. Like, <laughs> nothing happened. The, the other referees were baffled. Uh, this has been one of the worst officiating seasons since they robbed the Sacramento Kings 
Back when the hey, we're deep. We are the Lakers. I'm the Kobe. I'm the Kobe. I'm just talking about what you're right. Yeah, bad officiating. You're absolutely correct. Scott Foster, something we gotta be doing. They gotta put these refs, man. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, pain officiating. I don't know. The uh, ball got you know some hands in it, but this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watch any NBA game on any given night, you see some calls that just make you go, hmm. What's going on? What's going on? You know, so these are not like touchdowns. You know, they got to go all the way out on the field. It's a, a couple baskets to change the outcome real quick, real quick. And, yeah. And sports betting is bigger than it's ever been. Ever been. And everybody's got a hand in the pot. I'm not speaking conspiracy, but I'm speaking conspiracy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Hey, let's keep a close watch on that. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what's really going on. The outcomes are not. As they should be. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, and just and like the, the Boston. I mean, you got to think it's tough, though, in all seriousness, when you look at the fact that they get one. Look, they even instituted a, 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 it's a, replay. a, it's a replay review, and you only get one, which is sad because once you use up your one, you're done. They should do like, at least in the NFL, if you, if you are successful in your first one, you should get it you back. Keep it. Yeah. You should at least get it back. You should be able to. You know what I mean? Use your, your challenge and, and at least get it back. Maybe up to like three times in a game. I'm, I'm, I'm something, dead serious. Something definitely needs to because. be said and done because they're changing the outcome and they're they're ruining the game oh currently oh for God. a lot of real true fans. And I think they should be held accountable. Again, you should be able to put a mic in a referee's uh, face at the end of the game and say, hey, that was a controversial call at the end of the game. What did you see? Yeah, exactly. And you hear what the hell he say because they get to walk off and go jump in the car. And go snort a line or do whatever the hell they do. You know, check their cash out, they yeah, sell. That's crazy. Well, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? But this is but definitely ridiculous. It is what it is. I still enjoy the NBA. I like the NBA, love the NBA. And go continue to wait on the NBA. Now, with that being said, you know what time it is, right? Time for that top five. 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 Yes, sir. Here at Block Boy Sports Talk, we pick our top five, not based on this and that, not based on top stats, not based on ratings, rankings, whatever you may think. This is our top five. What we think. You can pick your top five. Leave it in the yeah, comments. You don't like it. It's cool. Say something about it. It's cool. So, yeah, we want to be up for a good debate. We definitely up for a good debate. Let's go. Going definitely right into the top five, you yeah. need to go first. You want me to go? I mean, you know, I I I I'm go first because uh, you usually go first. So mm -hmm. for, for 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 the sake of argument, my number five. Uh, this is right now my top five is uh, the Philadelphia uh, uh, 76ers with James Harden and uh, your boy Embiid up there playing incredible. Uh, your man James Harden had 20 assists the other night, uh, 42 points from from Embiid. Hey man, they playing tough basketball up there, and they're gonna be a tough out in the playoffs if they can stay healthy. Shout out to Embiid, man. No. He's, he's, he's been right. Uh, I think he he's been shaped for a lot of the MVPs. Right. Number four, I'm gonna go with the Boston Celtics right now. Um, they got a little hiccup in the road, but I do believe they're gonna be probably number two coming out the East anyway. But right now they're number four on my list. Number three, who is gonna climb the ladder rapidly? I'm pretty much sure because. My main man, KD, a.k.a. some people like to call him Beatty Top. Ha <laughs> ha! The, the, the Durantula. The Durantula. Is back in with the Suns, and he's doing what he does, but they're on third on my list right now. Number oh two, God. I got to go with Bucks. I got to go with Thanos. I mean Giannis. Because <laughs> he definitely will do it himself. He does what he does. He's out there each and every night, except for the other night. I, you, you're a funny guy. You try to get that triple double off the fake rebound. That was funny, and the NBA rescinded that. That was cute, but they didn't give it to you. And my number one team, I gotta go with the team. Hey, I told you, MVP. They don't call him the Joker for nothing. He is no joke. I gotta go with them Denver Nuggets as my number one in my top five going on right now. That's what's happening. That's his top five. Mm -hmm. That's his top five. And top how he shows his top, 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 top five. five. My top five. I'm getting to my top five. <laughs> That's his top five. Yeah. <laughs> It's all over the place. Mm. My number five. Okay. I had to go with the Phoenix Suns. Okay. At number five, the Ranchler. Shout out to the Ranchler. See yeah. what, what him and Booker do. If they make a deep run in the playoffs, it Big will time. be nice. A number four. Mm -hmm. Man, shout out to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Donovan yeah. Mitchell playing lights out basketball. And if you score too much, that's something we ain't talk about. 
you getting tested. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what uh, drugs that that enhance your basketball skills. I haven't heard of the specific drugs. So the, if has Steph Curry been taking this drug for years? Like, no, I mean, no. like, what's going on? Now that if you score seventy, you get drug tested. They want but <laughs> no, number three, I'm still going oh. with the Clippers. Uh, 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 shout out to my man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the Clippers. I'm going with the Clippers is number Kawhi, three. Kawhi, Paul George, and I can't be mad at to, that. to Kawhi, Paul George. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget about Westbrook. Westbrook, bitch, I showing up over there. I'm gonna move right along. Oh my god, two, two, the Joker. Mm -hmm. Number two, the Joker and the Denver Nuggets. MVP. MVP. Mm -hmm. He can't jump, but he's going to keep on tripping. <laughs> Double it up. He can't jump with double. Right. Right. And my number one, on fire, coming out the east. Some might say it's a little biased. My number one out of the New York Knicks. A little biased? <laughs> a, little, a little bit biased. And the New York Knicks are on fire. They're the number Jeez. one team in the NBA to me. That's my top five. Leave hate, hate, hate. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your top five. Leave that. I don't got nothing to do with that. Uh -huh. Y'all comment, make y'all y'all say, hey, what's up, baby? Marco. <laughs> Marco. That's M A R C O. Yes. That was it. top five. That was top five. The Knicks. That's right. That was him. The New York Knicks. The Knickerbockers. The Knickerbockers. They all hot though. They all hot. And closing up as we are closing up, it is what? Time it's, for it's, the man. It's March. It's so March. it's time for the madness. Ooh. And we'll be coming up on our next episode with our bracketology, mm -hmm. getting all the touch on our, our, our team, seeing who the sweet 16, who the favorites is, who the picks, this, that. It's basketball time, man. Welcome mm. to Block Boy Sports Talk. Yes, man. What a time to be alive, baby. Man, what a time to be a, a, a mm -hmm. great, great American. This, Great sport, basketball. Yeah, get your favorite sport. Back. Yeah, like when they dribble up and down the court. Curtis Blow, shout him out. Shout him hey. out, Curtis Blow. Hey, y'all know how we do, man. The bulk of this show is always based around NBA, just like we do in NFL. We try to throw in a little bit of other stuff, man. But, you know, we keep it short and sweet, man. Black Boy Sports Talk, man. It's your boy, Vex, man. And we out already. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. It's been Block Boy Sports Talk. Peace. All See y'all next week. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend, Black Boy Sports Talk. We here, man. If we do it every year. Every week, y'all already know how we do, man. All y'all do is come holler, man. I'm waiting for somebody to say something. All y'all gotta do is talk to me. We make it happen. I'm a block boy, a block boy, do block things. I'm, I'm a block boy, a block boy, do block things. I'm, I'm a block boy, a block boy, do block things. Once, once, once you're in it, then you're in it, and there's no stopping. I'm a block.